What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. For those of you guys that are new, today we are going to be reviewing the new Melt Sculpt Stacks. I have them here. I have the powder and the cream. A lot of you guys are asking about this product. Honestly, when it first came out, I was a little bit excited about it too because I'm always looking for new contour, highlight, all that good stuff products. It's very <clears throat> sparse in these streets for contour products for deeper skin tones. And since a lot of you guys were asking and I was excited anyways, I'm gonna give you guys that video today. I've already got them out in the open. I actually really like Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. They have an amazing eyeshadow for me, like super pigmented. I like their eyeshadow stacks as well because you can honestly customize your like everyday eyeshadow stack if you really, really wanted to. They got pretty decent sized pans. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this. Like, I think Melt has my wrong PR address. So I did buy them. They came pretty quickly, so that was pretty good. So it's called the Cream Sculpt Stack, which is this one right here. Five shades. I don't know if that's gonna be enough for every skin tone. It does say it's a deep contour slash brighten. I'm trying to figure out if this is just for deeper skin tones only, because I didn't see another stack for lighter skin tones. So not sure, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I mean, if I can use it, I'm not mad at it. Cause it says the cream sculpt stack is a deep contour slash brighten for the dark to the deepest skin tones. There is an olive shade. This shade right here is olive. It's a rich olive undertone to highlight. And then there's this shade right here, which is a highlight cream and it's a warm neutral peach undertone. And then we've got Warm Blend is a contour cream for warm red undertones, which is that shade right there. A Neutral Blend, which is a rich neutral undertone, which is that shade right there. I would say this is still very warm to me, still very red to me, but not as red as, huh? Got technical difficulties. These did not come in order. So this is the warm red undertones. That's why I was like, this one looks a little bit more red. This one is the warm blend. And then the neutral blend is this one, which compared to the other one would definitely give me more neutral vibe. I still feel like it's pretty warm though. And this one is the deep contour cream. I'm hoping that that does what I need it to do. And this is for deep neutral undertones. This stack is $48. Flattering dimension to your face features without muting the richness of the dark to the deepest skin tones. Highlight, conceal, warmth, and contour without any undesired gray cast or artificial tones. This five shade cream stack includes each undertone, warm olive neutral, and will allow you to mix for a custom sculpt, which is nice. Effortlessly blends and sets to the perfect skin matte finish, perfect for all deep skin types, even oily. I did also buy the powder, which I did look at this earlier. It's just not as promising <laughs> as the cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys a quick rundown on the powder. This stack is also $48 and this one has four shades as opposed to the other one has five shades. It's a bronzer slash contour for fair to dark skin tones. So this one goes from fair to dark. That's what I was expecting. It has two light medium shades which are these two right here. This one looks a little, a little bit, a little suspect. Medium to dark shades, which are these right here. And like I said, I just feel like this stack is not gonna be as promising to me. Natural shadows and warmth on fair to dark skin tones. I don't think that this stack will, is these four shades is enough to cover the entire fair to dark. It's just not enough. Hopefully they add more. It's a sheer yet buildable formula. Effortlessly control the intensity of your application. We included two warm shades that mimic a natural skin tan. This stack is just trying to do too much. It's trying to give you bronze and contour in one for fair to dark skin tones. So two shades for, it's just, this. it's just, no. This stack is just doing too much. I do think that there definitely needs to be more shades in here. Since this one says it's only for deeper skin tones, I feel like this makes more sense. I am not mad at it, but I'm really it's just slightly confused as to why I was just launched with just deeper skin tones. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty spray. I'm gonna put this on first because it does have a little bit of glow to it. So I'm just gonna like lightly spritz my face with it. I'm gonna prep my eyes with the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment, the Avocado Creamy Eye Treatment. My under eyes are so dry. This is actually a beauty blender, like rollerball brush type situation. I really love it for like underneath the eyes, just like around the eye area. Oh, it feels so, 
especially if you have puffy eyes, it's just a nice little treat yourself. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. I better stay down. For my pores, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in with the Omaliwa High Wood Definition Foundation Primer. This is just like a silicone primer that I like to just put in my T-zone area. And then for foundation today, I'm gonna mix together the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. This one's a slightly a little bit too dark and this one's slightly a little bit too light, but the finish is phenomenal. So I'm gonna mix those two together. Use that much for Norse. And then Tom Ford is stupid expensive. So <laughs> this foundation's crazy expensive. Um, I'm gonna go in with like three pumps of this. Look at that shade. So that's the shade that I have. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be a really good match. I got this new e.l.f. sponge, or not sponge, brush. I don't know if it's a foundation brush. I think it's supposed to be a contour brush, but I'm gonna use it as a foundation brush today. Oh yeah. Look at that match, you guys. So I'm gonna use this to blend this in, and we'll see if I like it. That is like blending in like butter. Wow. Foundation wear. I'm hoping that this mix will give me the long wearability of the NARS Complete Foundation, the soft matte one. I feel like this is the best mix that I've ever done that gave me this this good of a match. That looks really good. I don't hate this finish. Probably could have used a little bit less of the Tom Ford foundation. So now we can go ahead and move on to the stack. Hmm. I can't decide if I wanna use the shade Warm Blend. Although it's a contour cream, I'm gonna have to use it as a concealer because it's the other ones. This ain't gonna work for me. This shade, that's a no. Even this shade, it's probably way too light and it's not really my undertone. So I'm gonna use the shade Warm Blend for my under eyes. I'm just gonna go into it with a brush. This is the shade right here. Let me give you guys a few swatches. Formula feels great. A little bit of swatchy swatchy right here. This one's Olive, this one's Brighton, this one's the Warm Blend, this one's the Neutral Blend, and then this one's the Deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of color correcting with the Dior Forever and Ever Skin Correct Concealer. I wanna make sure I give this a fair chance, color correct where I need to. This will just make it look really nice and seamless, especially on certain parts of my face that are just a little bit darker than the rest of my face, which is like my under eye area and my mouth area. So I'm actually gonna go into the shade Neutral Blend, because it has more of that neutral undertone and I don't need that red right now to cancel out the discoloration. I don't normally like to reach for cream underneath my eyes. I feel like I like liquid a little bit more for like concealer. So this formula feels really nice and creamy. This is just taking a lot longer for me. I feel like if I was like with using liquid, I feel like I'd be able to get it done so much faster. And maybe I don't even need to use this much because honestly, cream is supposed to give you more coverage anyways. So maybe I'm just like going overkill on it, but we'll see. So now I'm gonna go into deep. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. triangular buffing brush, which is this right here. So I'm gonna take this and we pray or we hope no! I was afraid that that was gonna happen. This ain't doing nothing for me. The cream stick from Fenty is what I've been actually liking a lot. So this is the cream stick from Fenty. This is caviar from Fenty compared to... Is caviar darker? Yeah, it's slightly darker. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is where we see the actual difference. It's a beautiful shade though. And I feel like this shade, ugh, that is such a pretty shade, but you guys can see it's definitely a lot lighter than caviar. So that's why it's not showing up on your girl right there. That's annoying. I see it being a bronze. No, no, I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. Well, this would be a really pretty foundation shade. That's why it's a melt. That's why I keep saying it's a pretty shade. That shade for foundation, it's got the perfect amount of neutral 
Ooh, it's such a pretty foundation shade. And that's why it's like literally blending into my face right now because it's literally my foundation shade. I'm gonna go ahead and just go use, go ahead and use my caviar stick and do this video real quick. Let's just blend this out. Well, there was something about that shade. I was like, something about this shade is just speaking to me. It's so pretty, but it's because it's almost like the perfect foundation shade. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer now. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. What do we think? What do we think? Do I hate it? No. For some reason, I wish I had more coverage. Yes. I like the color of the concealer. I like the shade. I like the texture. But I do feel like I'm gonna need to go in with one more layer. It's blending out really nicely. Like it's a really easy, reasonable, manageable blend, which I really like. I do think I'm gonna go in with one more layer. So maybe I can just go straight in with my sponge. That definitely gave me more coverage. I just went on top of that with the warm blend on top of the neutral blend. That looks better. Definitely more coverage going straight in with the sponge. And considering how much cream I just put on my face, I don't feel too heavy or anything like that. So that's good. My skin doesn't feel crazy, like cakey or heavy, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and start setting my face. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Coffee. Oh, that's such a good set together, these two together. So the powder stack, y'all, it's not gonna work. This is just not gonna work. If this is what I've been using to contour my face, this is not gonna do it for me. Like it's just not, I'm not even gonna try and put this on because I know it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for my face. I just, it's not gonna work. I feel like I'm gonna ruin my makeup. Okay, all it's doing is setting it. It's just setting it, which is nice. Set it. As far as contouring, it's not doing that. I'm gonna go in with my Midas Cosmetics and Neon MUA face palette. I'm gonna use the shade Contour. This is the Midnight palette. Oh, this brush is nice for this. Ooh, this is a ELF 107 brush. I just don't remember the name. And it is just feathering out that forehead beautifully. It's supposed to be a highlight brush, but this is a big A highlight brush. Like, how are you supposed to highlight with this? I think it's a highlight brush. Or is it a blush brush? I don't know. But it looks really good for setting this contour right now. Laying it down real nice. Yeah, his face chiseled. I'm gonna go into my Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder in the shade Deep Bronze. I'm gonna use the same brush, just the other side this time. So I'm using it kind of like a bronzer, but it just like gets rid of any harsh lines and just blend soft. You guys see that? And then last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey shade that just came out. I'm gonna take that and pop it right underneath my under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down using the Flawless Airbrush Setting Pou setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This thing is phenomenal. I feel like I've been raving about it the past few videos that I've done, but it's, it's good, it's good. So now that I have sufficiently drowned myself in setting spray and gotten that all cleared up with my fan, I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest of my face off camera, and then we'll come back and see what everything looks like all together. So I went ahead and did my brows and eyes off camera. I used the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze on my eyes. Ooh, this palette is pretty. So that's the palette that I used on my eyes with a little bit of the Soft Glam Mini. I think this is a mini palette. I just used this shade right here just for like transition shade for that nice really red berry shade in the lid in the um, crease area. It looks really pretty. And then for mascara, I used the new um, Oma Beauty Drama Bomb, Drama Bomb Mascara and Looks really good. I love the way that this mascara came out. For blush slash bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Mented Cosmetics Out of Office. Pop that right in here. Oh, that's the perfect blush. A little bit of color. I love a little blush on the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. Okay, so for the lips, I just did Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle on the outer parts, which is this, nope, that's not it. Shade right here, it's like this really pretty cherry red. Kind of, oh, burnt orange, I would say. Oh wait, these are all Mademoiselle. 
shade shoddy fenty beauty shoddy on the outside and then i put i quit just a little bit in the center just to kind of mellow out the color a little bit i'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on top and this is tasty lip gloss from abh i'm just gonna quickly highlight my brow bone my dior highlighter just throw a quick highlight into the brow bone area right in my sweet spot which is right there right there on the nose I'm gonna spray my face down with the estee lauder satin refresh this is the finished face we love a nice finish we love a nice face this hair this hair with this makeup mm, just doing some things final thoughts on the stack Honestly, I was not that impressed. The contour didn't really work for me. You guys saw that. It really looked more like a foundation shade for me. So maybe one day like I'll use it as a foundation shade. I don't normally gravitate towards cream foundations. I like more of the liquid foundation, but whenever I was applying the cream as a concealer on my face, it didn't feel heavy or like weighing down my face or anything like that. Would I buy it for myself? Probably not. From what I know, they are not selling them individually. But even if they were, a cream product is not something that I'm personally like gravitating towards. Those are pretty much all my full thoughts on the bronzer, the powder bronzer. I, like I said, we need, there needs to be more shades if we're gonna cover fair to deep dark. It's just, you can't do it in these four. If you are slightly a little bit lighter than me, you're probably gonna get good use out of it because then you'll be able to actually use the contour out of it. This one just kind of like looks like my foundation shade. So I probably use this as my foundation shade if I really really wanted to but like I said I don't normally gravitate towards cream products if you like cream products you might like this one that's pretty much it for our video today I really hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and join the family thank you guys so much for watching lots of love and I will see you guys next time